Hello everyone, this is Val and in today's video we're going to see a show in the Moulin Rouge. I know it's very common and heard in Paris, but today we're actually going to see it from the inside. So let's get to it! Actually, the Moulin Group was founded in 1889 and what's most surprising about it is that it's still working nowadays. It was the start of the modern canton dance in Europe in general, so the shows that started in the Moulin Rouge were like uh, set in time for the dancers. Nowadays it's a touristic attraction, but it still, it still keeps the essence of the cabaret dancers, so it's great. Actually, getting on a show on the Moulin Rouge is not cheap. I know in this channel we're budget traveling, but believe me, there are some experiences in the traveling that's worth having water as breakfast for the next three days. So it's not cheap. The ticket, depending on the season, can go from 88 euros up to above 270. It depends on the show you choose, the hour, and as usual with everything, the season as well. So they have a lunch show, a matinee show, but the main two shows of the Moulin Rouge are the night shows, one at 9.30 and the other at 11 p.m. So depending on your budget, the cheapest one is the 11 p.m. one and depending also on the hour you go, you can choose to either have dinner there or champagne or things like that. The 9.30 show includes dinner or champagne or just the show if you want to just pay for the ticket. And the 11.30 show includes champagne if you wish. So that makes the price of the ticket change and it varies on the season as well. In summer, of course, as everything is more expensive than in other times of the year. But, for example, in winter at things like that, you don't find the matinee show or the afternoon show because there is not much demand. So, we're going to see how it is on the inside and how it's the show. But first, let's get pretty. So, the dress code of the Moulin Rouge says elegant attire. So, as you can see, your admin is wearing herself a dress. And it's not mandatory, but it's better. So. If you have any dresses as a traveler in your suitcase, by the way, leave down in the comments if you want to know how my suitcase, traveling suitcase, looks like, then use it for the show. I'm not wearing high heels because no, I can't, but I am wearing the dress. So let's go. Hello travelers, this is Val editing from the future. I was editing the video and I realized that that night I was so excited that I didn't have time to actually comment on the show. So here am I. Uh, what can I say? It was amazing. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had since I started traveling and in my life in general. It's something that you should experience at least once in your lifetime, just like going to like Cirque du Soleil or something like that. The play has things, a combination between dancing and some circus presentations. So you see guys with skates and I don't want to spoil too much, but you see pretty amazing stuff being done by some amazing acrobats. So it's something that you should give it a try. The show is definitely not for children. It's for adults only, and but it's for all genders. Though, if you're going with your partner, please don't be like the couple that was just beside me, that the lady was calling out her boyfriend because he was looking at the dancers. Yes, the female dancers in the Moulin Rouge go on with really thin and suggestive clothes, and in some cases they even go topless. So, if you're going with your boyfriend, just keep an open mind, come on, we're here to enjoy ourselves. So just keep that in mind, but actually everybody can enjoy the show, it's very beautiful and the amount of coordination those dancers have is very very amazing. 
The show is about one hour and a half long, so you can still go out in time for taking the last metro line if you go to a very late show. And if you decide not to take the ticket that includes the champagne, they actually sell drinks inside the Moulin Rouge show. If you decide to change your mind and have a drink or you don't like champagne and want to try something else, you can also do it. That's pretty much it. It's something you should really, really see at least once in your lifetime because it's a great, amazing experience. And when you're a traveler, living those things is actually, actually worth it. So if you all want to give it a try, then you should. Finally, to show you the interior, they actually don't let you take any pictures or video of the show, but actually I have this picture of how the interior, the complete interior, like where the play happens, looks like. And with that picture, that's all my friends. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content and to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. I hope you had enjoyed this video and I see you all on the next trip.